Hey there! Now in the previous video, we spoke about how to find one side of a triangle when you are given two sides. And we did that by using the Pythagoras theorem. Now in this video, we are going to be looking at how to find one side of a triangle when you are given only one angle and one side of a triangle. So to find out how to do this, stay tuned. Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. My name is Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore. Walk by faith and not by sight. So, before we get into this lesson, I would like to give a shout out to Hamukwaya Lavinia and Pondian Kayambu for their feedback or comments on the previous video. So, shout out to both of you and thank you for your feedback. So back to the lesson. Now as we all know that a triangle has three sides, namely the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. Now how do we find these three sides of a triangle? The hypotenuse, we look at the 90 degree, and then the line opposite that 90 degree is our hypotenuse. Okay? Now the opposite, we go to the other angle, which in this case is our 50 degrees. Now the line opposite that 50 degrees is our opposite. Okay? So which one will be the adjacent? Notice that a triangle only has three sides. Now if you already labeled two sides, obviously there is one side left. So that side that is left is our adjacent. Okay? Now that you know how to label a triangle or the sides of a triangle, I want you to learn this very important ratios. Now notice that you need these ratios to be able to calculate questions that relate to such triangles. But you don't have to memorize these ratios. All you need to memorize is this word. So katoa. Okay? Now so katoa, the so represents S for sin. And then the O is for the opposite. The H is for the hypotenuse. The same with the ka. The c is for the cos. The a is for the adjacent. The h is for the hypotenuse. Now in the toa, the t is for ten. The o is for the opposite. And the a is for the adjacent. Okay? So I'll show you how to use soka toa in just a minute. Good. Now say you are asked to find line BC, which is our X here. So what do you do? First of all, always label your sides. So let's start with the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is the line opposite the 90 degree, which means it's this line. So this line is our hypotenuse. Which side is our opposite? Our opposite will be the line like that is opposite the other angle that we are given, which is 50 degrees here. So, which line is that one? It's this line. So, that is our opposite. So, obviously, because we have labeled these two sides already, this side will be our adjacent. Okay? Now that we have labeled our sides, you bring out your word. So, katoa. Now, when you bring out your word, you check at your labelings. Let's start with the hypotenuse. Are you given a figure for the hypotenuse? Yes. You are given 10 meters. Now when you come to the adjacent, are you given a figure? Yes, you have an X, which you are looking for. But even though it's not a number, the fact that there is an X, we count that as a figure. Yes, you are given something. Now when you come to the opposite, notice here that this opposite, I need you to remember, we are the one that put it there as a labeling. So beside that, there is nothing. So you are not given any figure for the opposite. So now when you go back to your soccer toa, you look for like these three letters in the so, ka, and toa. Look for the ratio that doesn't have an opposite. So when we check in so, we have a S, so, like S, O, and then H. So in the middle, there is an O for opposite. So we skip that one. We go to ka. Now, when you come to K, there's a C, there's a A, there's a H. So, there's no O, so we will use this ratio in the middle. Because the ratio, the last one has T, 
T-O-A. So there is an O there. So we leave those ones. We only use the one in the middle. So how do we use the one in the middle? We know the C stands for cos. Okay? Now, after you write your cos, you check whatever angle you are given here. What angle are you given? You are given a 50 degree. So you write your 50 degree. After you write your 50 degree, you write equals to, and then you check. It was C and then A. A stands for the adjacent. So what is our adjacent here? It is X. So you write your X and then divided by, after the A here, you have an H. So you go back, what is your hypotenuse? Your hypotenuse is 10 meters. So you write divided by 10. Okay? Now from here, now that you know that cos 50 degrees is equal to x divided by 10, and this is a fraction on the right hand side, you can solve this by making the left hand side also a fraction, by putting it over 1. After you make it a fraction, you cross multiply. Okay? So what is 1 multiplied by x? That will just be x. So what is 50 degree or cos 50 degrees multiplied by 10 or 10 multiplied by cos 50 degrees? That will give us 6.43. And since there was meters here, it's 6.43 meters. And that is your final answer. Okay? Let's look at another example. Now, before I solve this example, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to give it a shot and see if you'll get the right answer. Okay. So the first thing we always want to do is, now notice that here we are looking for line A, B, where our X is put. You know, it doesn't matter what letter is put here. Sometimes they can put the A, a C, a D. Now, in our case here, we have an X. Okay? So, now what you do is, you always label your triangle sides. So, let's start with the 90 degree. So, what is the line opposite the 90 degree? So, this line. So, that is our hypotenuse. Okay? And then we go to the opposite. How do we know which side is the opposite? Check your angle that you are given beside the 90 degrees. It is at 30 degrees. Now that line opposite that 30 degrees, which is this line, is our opposite. Okay? Now notice because you have already labeled these two sides, the third side will obviously be our what? Our adjacent. Good. Now that you have labeled your sides, bring out your what? Your word, sokatoa. Hmm? So when you bring out your word, now you start checking. Let's start with adjacent. Are we given an adjacent? Yes, the adjacent is x. Are we given a hypotenuse? Yes, we are given 9 cm. Are you given an opposite? No, there is no opposite. Good. So we know when we come to our ratios here, we are going to look for the ratio without an O. So so is having an O in the middle. And then ka is not having a, a O. So we are going to use ka again. Because toa is having an O in the middle. So knowing that C stands for cos, we write our cos, and then we check whatever angle we are given, which is 30 degrees, we write that angle there next to cos, and then we write is equal to A, which is our adjacent. What is our adjacent? Our adjacent is X. So we write the X divided by H. What is H is our hypotenuse. So what is our hypotenuse? It's 9 cm. So you write the 9 cm there. And then from there you know you have a fraction on the right hand side of the equation. So you make the left hand side a fraction by putting it over 1. Now that it's a fraction, you cross multiply. So what is 1 multiplied by x? That will give you x. What is 9 multiplied by cos? 30 degrees. That will give you? 7.79 or 7.79 centimeters. And that's your final answer. You see how easy it is. Let's look at a third example. Let me give you another 10 seconds to try it out. Okay? So feel free to pause the video. Oh, 
Okay, so what do we do? Number one, always remember to what? To label your triangle. Okay, so let's start with the hypotenuse. Which side is the hypotenuse? It's always the side that is opposite your 90 degrees, which is this side. Okay, so that's your hypotenuse. Now let's label the opposite. Which side is the opposite? You go to whatever angle you are given beside the 90 degrees, which is 60 degrees here. And then that line that is opposite that angle, which is here, will be your opposite. Now knowing that two sides are already labeled, your third side that is not labeled will be your adjacent. Good. Now that you have labeled your sides, bring out the word Sokatoa. Now once you bring out your word Sokatoa, check the, la the labeled sides. Do you have a hypotenuse? Yes, you have X. Do you have an opposite? Yes, you have 11 centimeters. Do you have an adjacent? No, there is no adjacent. So what do you do? You look for the ratio in your saw katoa that doesn't have an adjacent. So let's start with saw. Is saw having an A? No, it is not having an A. So we are going to be using saw. Why can we not use ka? Because in the middle there is an A. So we cannot use ka. Why are we not using toa? Because toa, the third letter, is an A. So we use the so. So now we know the S is for what? It's for sin. Now what angle are we given? We are given a 60 degree. So we write the 60 degree and then it's equal to the O. Now what is O? O is the opposite. So it's 11 centimeter. So you write your 11 centimeter there. And then divided by your hypotenuse. Okay? Now what is our hypotenuse? Our hypotenuse is a x. So you divide it by x. Again, knowing that on the right hand side you have a fraction, let's make the left hand side also a fraction by putting it over 1. Okay? And then if you put it over 1, you cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, what is 1 multiplied by 11? You get an 11. Okay? So what is x multiplied by sin? 60 degrees. You get sin 60 degrees multiplied by x. Now notice that when you have a multiplication in between, you want to solve for x, right? So you need to get rid of anything that is on one side with x. So what is on one side with x? You have a sin 60 degree. So how can we get rid of this sin 60 degree? Because it is being multiplied we can cancel it out by division. Okay? So if it, was, if it was a subtraction sign, then we can cancel out with addition. But this time, there is a multiplication sign. So we can just divide both sides by sin 60 degrees. And then on the left hand side, it will cancel out. And then you are left with x is equal to 11 divided by sin 60 degrees. So what is the answer? x is equal to Point seven meters and that's your final answer okay so meaning line a b is 0. 0.7 meters okay easy as such how about if we check at another example so i'm going to give you another 10 seconds feel free to pause the video and try it out Okay, so what do we do? The first thing is always to label our sides. So we start with the hypotenuse. Which side is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite the 90 degrees. So our 90 degrees this time is up here on the right hand side. So the line opposite our hypotenuse is this line. So that is our hypotenuse. Or the line opposite the 90 degrees, sorry. The line opposite the 90 degrees is this one, meaning it's our hypotenuse. Now, which side is the opposite? The opposite will be the line that is opposite our angle that we are given here, which is 60 degrees. So, this line opposite that 60 degrees will be our opposite. Okay? Now, which line will be our 
our adjacent because these two lines are already labeled this line is not labeled that will be our adjacent now that we have uh, labeled our sites let's bring out our word which is Sokatoa okay now let's start checking our labelings what we are given so are we given an opposite yes we are given 21 meters are we given an adjacent yes we have x are we given a hypotenuse no there is nothing we are not given anything it's just our labeling so when you come to your ratios or your word sokatoa look for the three letter term the so the ka and the toa which does not have a what a age for hypotenuse so does so have a age yes there is one age here does ka have a age yes there is another age does toa has an age or have a age no toa does not have an age so what we do is we are going to be using toa so what does t stands for in toa it stands for 10 okay so you you write your 10 and then what angle are you given here you are given 60 degrees so you write your 60 degrees is equal to what is equal to okay t o divided by a so what is our o our o is the opposite 21 meters so we write our 21 divided by our adjacent what is the adjacent it's x so we write our x now we make our left hand side also a fraction by putting it over one after that what do we do we cross multiply okay so what is 1 multiplied by 21? That will be 21. What is x multiplied by 10, 60 degrees? That will be 10, 60 degrees multiplied by x. So we want to get rid of anything that is on one side with x. So how can we do that? Because there is a multiplication sign, we can do that by dividing both sides by 10, 60 degrees. So if you do that, on the left hand side it will cancel out. And you are left with an x. While on the right hand side, you are left with 21 divided by 10, 60 degrees. So what is x? So this you type into your calculator and you get 12.1 meters. And that's your final answer. Okay? So how did you find this video? Was it helpful? If yes, please do give us a like, subscribe to our channel, Turn on that notification button not to be the last to see the next upload. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.